guys, today we're doing a throwback review of GoldenEye for Nintendo 64. It's remembered as being one of the most groundbreaking first-person shooters of its time, but does it still hold up? Zach, what do you think? I gotta say no. I played the entire game and there were no gems to collect at all. Yeah. I hate to break it to you folks, but GoldenEye did not age well. All you get to do is shoot enemies, which seems pretty pointless if you can't also gather jewels. Right? And you fight through these varied environments like Russian military bases and secret laboratories, but never do you come across a row of floating diamonds for you to run through to pick up. And that's a real shame, because there are so many empty corridors and air ducts in this game that could have been filled with a treasure trove of gems. Totally. Every time I came across a bathroom, I'd burst through a stall door expecting to find a hidden sapphire, but usually there was just an enemy guard there and he would suddenly start shooting at me. I hated that. There's no worse feeling than expecting a gem and instead getting shot at. And pretty much the only thing you can collect in this game is weapons and ammo, which I thought was a pretty weird choice considering they could have gone with gems instead. Wouldn't it make more sense if they let you collect gems, craft 10 gems into a mega gem, and then craft all seven colors of mega gems into an emerald shovel so that you can dig up more gems? Definitely. Definitely. But what did you think about the decision to make the main character James Bond? James Bond is okay, I guess, but I would have preferred to play as a character called Gem Boy who's on a quest to find gems. Totally. Some character named Gem Boy who's collecting enchanted gems for the Crystal King or something would have been a much better idea. With James Bond, you get all this boring spy stuff that has nothing to do with gems. So we've been pretty hard on GoldenEye, but I want to mention that I still have nostalgia for the multiplayer mode. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it used to be so much fun to sit on the couch with your friends while playing GoldenEye and you talk about gems for hours and hours. Unfortunately, that's probably the only positive thing I can say about this gemless disaster. All right, so how'd you rate GoldenEye overall? For being a deeply flawed, terrible game with no gems, I'm giving GoldenEye one star. Ouch. I'm gonna be a little more forgiving and give GoldenEye one Storm Shard, which is a magic gem with the power to control the weather, but it doesn't work inside or underground. Fair enough. See you next time.